This is the three piece bearing for the draw bar on a cat motor grader on the older style. So I don't know what this is made out of, but they've made it three pieces. So it's a puzzle. And to put it mildly, it's a nasty, no good thing to get in there. Hold all that together. Slide those two big balls together, a pile of shims. Run two Allen head screws through the shims into the balls and pinch it together. <laughs> so, seriously, why could they have not made this one piece with a split on one side so you could just take it and pull it apart, slip it over your ball, and wham bam, you're fixed, ready to go. Okay, it's uh, ball changing, bearing, pushing, thingamajigger, changing time again. So I got all these bolts out. Now you got to take out it's a couple Allen head screws in here and a set of shims between these two pieces. It's a two piece ball kind of thing. You know, and then there's bird shit all over. That's always pleasant. Love working in bird poop. Is out. Two of them. I'll take two of them. There we go. Hold on. I fall to pieces. Okay, Shims. Hold it together. There we go, here comes the leftover bearings. They're out, what's left. So this is what you got left. Tons of it. A lifetime's worth. Okay, it says you gotta unhook these hoses, but they're plenty long enough. Anyway, so it's got a block under it piece of wood and I can it's loose so what I've done is I got the crane back here hooked to it and I'm going to support it with that and then I'm going to pull that the grater forward a little till I can get this bearing on Okay, the, this deal just about came out, but that's okay. If I can get it out, I'll clean it up a little better.
gave it the full Monty this time. Took it apart, fished all that crap out of the inside of the frame in there. Um, that's all the busted up bearings that have gone inside. Some of them fall outside, but it looks like most of it falls to the inside. So that completes your lesson in how to change one of these. Now the way you do it might vary. Hey, any of you guys ever seen a hose pimple? Right there. I think she's gonna blow. I think that one's gonna blow. It's got oil in it. I think I need to, to replace some hoses here. What do you think? There, so I'm done. I'm filthy. I got my Garrett Wilson's on, my bibs. Hey, but my shirt's still clean. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, ain't technology great? I'm sitting on the toilet and I get a text from FedEx. <laughs> it says they just delivered me a package from Mr. Ryan in California. Oh, Dennis Ryan from good old Highland, California sent me some goodies. Thank you very much for the letter. And uh, I appreciate you working on that 24-volt coffee maker for the D9. He said the Chinese engineers got deported, <laughs> so they're behind schedule. <laughs> and thank you for the other thing. Totally appreciate that. So he sent me a couple of bags of San Diego's Ryan Brothers Coffee. Coronado Moonlight and San Diego Sunrise. Cool. That's just awesome. Dennis, thank you very much for that. Let's go try some of that out. Hey, hey, hey. Got a package from Fat Dan. And that sucker's been laying down there on the bench forever. Upside down. <laughs> And then the other day, Dan made a comment on a YouTube channel, asked me if I got package he sent. Dan, I apologize. I brought it out here, and here it has sat forever. <laughs> Let's open this up. Oh, it's a bell. Such nice animals. They're so friendly looking. <laughs> well, this is cool, Dan. Yukon. So, Dan, you're in uh, Palmer. Okay. Palmer. Where's Palmer? Mm, you know what, Dan? I actually have, my wife has family that lives in Alaska, and I can't remember where they're at either. Huh, that'd be cool to come up there. I'm not kidding you. It would be cool, cool. Well, this is neat, Dan. Thank you very much. Talks about all the little towns and places to go. Wow. Thank you very much, Dan. Okay, we're going to try this one more time, caterpillar wrenching. In the box we go. And to prove I'm actually doing it, I'm filming it. There we go. Let me tell you a fun fact about our postal system. So, I live in Blackfoot. So if I send a letter to somebody in Blackfoot, it goes to the Blackfoot post office. Then it gets put on a truck and it goes to Salt Lake City, 225 miles, 200 miles away. <clears throat> and then it comes back from Salt Lake to the Blackfoot Post Office and then gets delivered. That's efficiency, isn't it? 